What's going on everybody? Wicked Digger here. Thank you for joining in. I hope everybody's having a wicked great day. I'm about to hit this field that I have permission to. It's uh, produced many, many great relics and coins. A trime, half dime is where I got my half real from. So we're going to get out there. We're going to see what we can find. I got about an hour and uh, we're going to be digging some holes. So stay tuned. Hopefully we get some good stuff. All right, so so far I've walked from my car to here and I'm getting pretty heavy 73, 75 right here. So let's dig this one live. First hole um, and first really good diggable signal. I heard a couple on the walk out that sounded like they could possibly uh, be okay, but probably trash. So let's see, and this didn't seem very deep we'll see what it is it almost sounded like it could be somewhat big but it could be a coin or something great as well cut it out whatever it is oh it's a coin what do we have here looks like it might be indianish but i'm not sure it's possible that it's a memorial too Oh, it's a weedy. All right. One cent. It's a weedy. I'll take a weedy for the first hole. That's uh, not so bad. Very crusty in the front, so. Well, I almost got a date off of it. I can't really tell. Looks like it might say... 1918, but it's really tough to see. I'll have to clean it up a little better and hopefully we can see a date on it. All right, keep moving along. Well, there it is. <clears throat> Just popped out and I have no idea what it is. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't look like a can top or anything, but I also don't see anything on it. That would give me any information as to what it might be. Iron in the back, I don't know, maybe a can top, but it seems a lot thicker than that, but I don't know, I have no idea. Throw it in the bag, we'll keep moving. All right, we got something in the hole. Is that it? Right there. I don't know if you could see that. It's a little green coin or button, Let's see. We have coin or button. Oh, I feel shank. Beautiful. Beautiful little flat button. I am happy as that with this button. Very nice. Woo. All right, let's keep moving. We're getting a pretty decent tone right here. The tone sounds great. VDI is bouncing a little bit. Um, but mostly in a mid-tone. So it sounds just like the button that I dug a little while ago, and it also sounds a lot like it could be a trime, or it could be trash. So, let's find out whether we have trash or we have treasure. All right. It's in the hole. Let's see if we can pop something up out of the ground here. What is that? Oh, I thought, that was a, I thought it was a musket ball. Is that it? What is that? What is that? It's a hammered copper. No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea what it is. I don't even know. Wow. I have no idea. It almost seems like a rock, but it's heavy. This is really bizarre. It's got like little lines through it, little striations, but I don't know what that's, uh, that's from. I don't know, let's clean it up to see if there's anything to figure out what that is, but I don't think the outcome is gonna be good. Just a piece of something, but boy, that sounded just like a button or a little silver, tiny silver coin, but it wasn't. And, uh, and that's okay. 
because most holes go that way. And uh, every once in a while, you get lucky. Well, like I was never there. A little bit of rain and a little bit of growth, you'll never see that. So I'm coming up right on the edge of the field here. And pretty soon we'll be turning around, headed back towards the opposite end of the field. Very, very bouncy signal, but a nice mid-tone sound to it. So we'll see. But as far as VDI, which I don't particularly go by a whole lot, I dig on, on tone. So the tone sounded good, but as always, does not mean that it's something good. Another little weird piece of something. Huh. Yeah, I guess that was it. All right. Well, if that's it, that's it. From here, we move along. Clean up that plug. Get back to swinging. So I finally figured out what was wrong with my car. If anyone saw her, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, um, you know, I had a little delay in the video. Um, instead of coming out on Thursday, like I always try to, it came out on Friday. And uh, my car was having some transmission issues. So, I did fix it yesterday. Seems to be fine as of yesterday and today. However, um, what I did to it really... In essence, although I changed the transmission oil, which cost $72 for two quarts of oil, um, it really cost me only about 15 bucks and some time when it all boiled down to what the issue was. Now, I'm not going to say what the issue was, but if you have a Ford Focus or a Fiesta by chance and you ever have transmission issues, um, go over to my channel Wicked Repairs or if anyone wants to just check out the video on Wicked Repairs um, probably in the next couple days or so or it might be out by the time this video is out um, I will have a little video talking about what I did and give a shout out to another channel that um, has helped me out with kind of diagnosing it a little bit and asking some questions to him because He's very familiar with these Ford Focus and Fiesta transmissions, so it took a little bit of uh, work, which really wasn't too much, and very little bit of money to fix the issue I was having, and I am just so tickled pink to be able to have that thing, my car back in working order. It's important, of course, you know, we all, we rely on that stuff, and you know, being able to pick up my kids from school, go to work, come out detecting, um, whatever the case may be, grocery shopping. We need our cars, we need our vehicles. So very happy to get my car back and uh, knock on wood, hopefully it stays good. And it should, I believe. So um, yeah, so there's that. And now we're out here swinging, trying to save some history doing what I love, but I'm glad that I was able to remedy my car without having to bring it to a dealership because I know for a fact, if I would have had to bring that car to a Ford dealership or even a small shop, um, it, which a lot of small shops won't touch the transmission on this thing because you need three sets of special tools to work on the transmission and clutch the way it's designed. So if it would have had to go to a Ford dealership, they probably would have tore everything apart, replaced a bunch of parts, got it back in a working order, and it would have been a $2,400 bill or more easily. And for $15 in a little bit of time, um, I was able to get it back in the 
proper working order. So. All right, enough about that. Let's say some history. I'm swinging the simplex, of course. Love my Nocta simplex. I've had it for almost three years, coming up in October, um, which I won this machine at Dig Stock in 2019. Um, which was actually pound the ground at the time. And um, I'll be going up to dig stock in the last week of October, last weekend of October again this year. And I'll be going to the New Hampshire hunt that I shared. Um, and we'll be doing some more sharing of the New Hampshire hunt um, the, the week before that, which I believe the New Hampshire hunt is October 22nd. It's a Saturday. And uh, I'll be out there. Both of those hunts with the Simplex. Um, with tons of great people, great YouTubers are going to be there. Um, fans of YouTubers will be there. And people just digging and having a blast, having fun. So, very excited for that coming up. And boy, this field is quiet right now. Lots of little bumps, irons, little iron sounds in the ground. Every once in a while I get a little blip and when I stop and listen to it, it's, it turns to iron instantly. But got the simplex in uh, park one mode. Yes, I'm using park one mode in the field and I always do pretty much. Um, the only time I ever switch it over to field mode is if I get over a target and the target's uh, somewhat iffy because it might be a little deep for park, which Really, it's about an inch difference, I think, from park to field. Um, but I love the park one tone, uh, the three tones it has. And uh, compared to the field, which is a single tone. Because I don't go by VDI, I go by tones. So that's why I like using park one on the simplex and having the three tones. And uh, I run this thing wide open. Um, you know, as far as notching things out, I don't ever notch anything out because um, I'm a, not a coin shooter. I'm a relic hunter. Of course, there's always something special about when a coin pops out of the hole. Um, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I'll take whatever comes out of the ground. But, um, you know, I like relics and old coins, you know, but um, you know, it's just, I mean, this has been a great machine for me. And, uh, and in Park 1, with the three tones, I use my ears to discriminate. So I listen to the tones, make sure it's repeatable, not on VDI, um, but which is, you know, important as well in, in its own where you got a solid 91 or something back and forth, most likely it's a Washington quarter or something silver. Um, but I could hear that tone with my ears anyhow for the most part and uh and know that it's something i want to dig do i know what it is not necessarily i know my detector very well now where um <clears throat> i could probably call out a lot of things like this sounds really good and it changes a little bit but let's dig it you know the vdi was kind of meh a little all over the place but the tone sounded really good. And it seemed like it was kind of deep. Which of course it has a depth gauge. Um, you know, like most detectors now. Um, although there are some even high-end ones that don't have it. But, um, you know, sometimes things sound deep because they're you know real small what is that what is this junk ah oh, blasphemy it's a big huge um piece of copper i think it may even be brass i'm not sure it's all cut up and jagged you know I mean, it sounded good, and that's the material of a target that I'd like to dig. You know, good relic, good button, or 
medallion or something cool. Oh. So, all right, we're gonna keep swinging a little bit longer. I don't have too much time. Let's get do it and dig some holes. Check it out, do you see it? It's a praying mantis. It's okay, bud. I would never hurt you or any animal, I promise. Well, I'm glad I didn't hurt the praying mantis, but I haven't seen one in a while. That's very cool. Walk around you, bud. See ya. Hey, everybody. Sorry for the interruption here, but I wanted to remind everybody that if you can donate anything to the St. Jude fundraiser we are doing, please click the link in the description. Donate whatever you can because every little bit helps. We all appreciate it very much. Um, as a team, we have raised almost half of our goal, almost $5,000 right now, uh, and uh, we're hoping to hit 10000 by the end of the year. So uh, really, whatever you can do is greatly appreciated. If you can't do anything, I totally understand that too. Um, but it is a fundraiser, so we're putting it out there in hopes to try to reach our goal because this is to help the future of children, families, and cancer research and being able to hopefully someday find a cure for um, at least certain types of cancers and whatever we can do to help people because that's really what makes the wheels keep moving and turning in this world is doing good things. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. All right, we don't have too, too much time left, but I have a nice 60s. 70s target here. So let's dig it together. Let's see what we got. See anything yet? It's our worm. It's our worm and the plug and he went right back in. Alright. What have we got here? Oh, it's something. What do we got? A little button, maybe? Be button number two for the day? Absolutely. Oh, man, I love buttons. It's a little flat button. I don't think there's anything on it, but you know, a little broken shank. But that's a nice thick button. That's why it sounded a lot like a Indian head scent. Or a coin. Whatever it could have been. I don't think there's anything on there. Doesn't look like it, but hey, a button is a button. And I'm happy to get the second button for the day. Right, let's move along a little bit longer while we have the time to see what else we can find. Boy, right here I have. Beautiful, beautiful signal right here. Definitely sounds like a coin. Could be a button or just something that's of good material, but it sounds really tight. It sounds nice. Let's see, Let's see what we can get inside this hole here. Come on, baby, give me something epic. Where'd it go? Oh my gosh, what is that? Is this the littlest, tiniest something ever? What the heck is that? Hmm. I have no idea. It's a little washer, I think. Oh my, no, it's not a washer. It doesn't have a hole in it. Huh. I don't know, whatever it is. That's why it sounded really small and tight, because it is very tiny. We'll check the hole, but I think that was our target. All right, we got something in the clump here. Let's see something. Might be another button. Yeah, it's a button. That's where the shake would have been. It's missing, but wow, third button for the day. 
That one's gonna have some writing for sure or something on the back. I'll we'll have to uh, let it dry up and a little bit more we'll clean it up, but that's definitely got some some writing on there. And a little crown. I think there's a crown right there. Very interesting. Nice. Button number three. We'll take it. Just came off in the wooded area a little bit here. I got another weedy. Man, I'm going to have to look at this thing real good because it's really tough to tell if that says 45 or 43. The back is roasted. But I mean, if that's a 43, I don't know if you can tell what you guys think. Maybe it's a 48. Man, it looks an awful lot like a 3, doesn't it? I have to clean this up carefully and see if that is because 43 copper is almost unheard of so it's probably a 45 or 48 but nevertheless we got another weedy so I just dug that weedy right here got another signal right there it's here in the clump so let's reveal this together I'm pretty sure that it's another weedy Oh yeah, I see the one cent. And I think I see 59 maybe. All right, another weedy. We'll, we'll take it. I'm pretty sure that this is a button. It's a little smashed in. But it looks like there's something on it too, I'm not really sure. There's the back of the shank, is a little two-piece. That's definitely a button. I'll have to clean that up and see if uh, there's something on there, if it's a military or what. I think it may be, but I'm not really sure, so. Well, we got a button. Happy with that. Iron back to it. All right. Might be the last target because we don't have very long, but let's see if we get anything back to the car. I did get one more signal and look at this. This has got to be 10, 11 inches down. I don't know if it's modern or old, but this just came out of the hole. I mean, it's deep. It's a V-nickel. Sweet. Wow, it looks to be in pretty good condition too. I mean, that thing was deep. I'll try to see if we can clean it up and get a date off it, but boy, I haven't got a V-nickel in a while. The back of it looks beautiful. Looks like it's gonna clean up nice. Oh, man. Yeah, I think we'll get a date off of it. It's starting to uh, come through a little. Oh, yeah, it's starting to come through. Nineteen oh three, maybe? Beautiful. Nice V-nickel to end the day. Woohoo! Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Got out, got a few things, had some fun swinging. I hope that if you are not subscribed and you enjoy what you saw, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It's absolutely free. Please give this video a thumbs up and ring that bell to make sure you get notifications. And uh, hopefully, if you're already subscribed, you've already rang that bell. And uh, we're approaching a thousand subscribers and I can't thank you all so very much for all your support and getting me up to that goal. We're almost there and it's that's a huge one. Um, I, they're, they're all big milestones. I've been happy at every single one of them and uh, shocked at every single one of them. And uh, it's been amazing to grow. It's been amazing to uh, share all these videos and all my finds and experiences with you all and uh, and having you all here with me. So. Thank you all very much, and we will see you on the next one. Have a wicked great day.